guys, it's Val. We are back with part four of Nightmare Projects Case 36, Henrietta Kedward. So last episode, we went through that maze that was super dark, hard to navigate. Um, and then we, I gave up in the library because we were getting kind of a long episode. Um, I did mess around in that one a little bit and there is little like bookshelves almost that you can hide in. And I guess you just gotta kind of wait it out uh, for her to walk by. So these rooms kind of like represent certain things that she went through, I think, in her life. Um, if this is the last episode, I'll explain myself more on that. If not, then I guess another episode to go. But yeah, what do you say we uh, finish this game? Yeah, let's go. All right, so I did learn that that means basically don't don't let her see you. Um, and I guess I still have that card. Okay, I just I didn't know where it started me. Okay, so these things here I can hide in, and. There's one right here. Oh, I got some kind of an achievement, hide and seek, okay. I don't know what that means. I can hear her. Ooh. Right, let me out, let me out. Let's jump in this one. So this is just all going to be about timing. Can you walk a little bit faster? Dang. Yes, go around the corner. You don't see me. How far back does she go? It's pretty far. Oh, here she comes. Finally. Please walk the other way very, very far. This is the start of her patrol area now. F out. Whoa. Am I safe in here? Will she... Will she come in here? It seems to be another painting related puzzle. It says... The Black Knight fought the demon face to face. The witch cast her spells next to death. The dragon next to the demon attacked the angel from end to end. And the knights fought side by side together. Hmm. Search for the lost pieces. Solve the enigma of the painting. You hung yourself. Oh, I thought I was... I thought I was hanging these in a certain order. All 
right. Let's see if we can solve this. Oh! Do you have to keep listening for her? Oh, okay, I'm in here again. Okay. So, let's see. Is that supposed to be a knight? Witch cast her spells. The black knight fought the demon face to face. So this one, the witch cast her spells next to death. That gets pretty old pretty fast. So let's see, the witch cast her spells next to death. So like a... Death. Okay. So that would be so the black knight so the the knights fought side by side but the black the black knight fought the demon face to face so this will be the demon Dragon next to the demon attacked the angel from end to end. What is this? Nobody talks about a unicorn. Know what I mean? Is that supposed to be a knight? <laughs> so we had the witch up. So the witch cast her spells next to death. So I think it's saying the angels on the end and then I guess the unicorn or whatever the fuck is going to be this one. Right? Right? That's not right. Right? Because nothing happens. <laughs> Are you going to do something? Oh, okay. Dark Walker. Leaves shedding from the tired tree of life. They end up devoured by time. Night transforms the shadows into something not so strange. And fear flies over our world. Something walks hidden in the darkness. Wow. That's an interesting card. Is something wrong? Like, I thought I understood the puzzle. A few moments later. Unless it means... The face to face with the demon? With the demon. Let me take this away. Let's change that back to death. So the Black Knight faced the demon face to face. The witch cast her spells next to death. And the dragon was next to the demon. Attack the angel from end to end. Okay, so I'm going to put the dragon over there where the angel is. And then it would be on the end. And it's going to attack the angel on the end. Okay. That's what it was. What did you drop? What is that? Go all the way around here. This mechanical piece must be part of the wooden furniture with the aura. Small cylindrical piece that goes on the furniture. Okay. Escape with a the piece. There's no door out of here. I gotta go all the way back through this. I will eat your soul. Ma'am? Wait, 
What's this little... Oh, is that my... Okay, okay. I don't know what it was. It was glowing and I wanted to touch it. But... Did I... Okay, I have the thing, right? Escape of the piece. Okay, yeah, so I still have it. So that's good. No. I guess that's like a booby trap. But when I like stepped in it, it made it hard to see. <laughs> kind of like that other room, which is uh, not fun. Not fun. Please just let me get out of here. Jesus, get me out of this place. Oh, thank Okay, so, oh, okay. I thought there was one more room, but I guess it's time. Um. Here. This one goes there. What? No, no, what, what the fuck? Wait, what am I supposed to say? L Evil Right? EVIL That's really easy Peculiar book. Look at the dead It's made of human skin It's pretty gross Disgusting Wow, that was a pretty. Wow. The book of the dead. Seems it didn't disappear puzzle. completely after all. Must be one of the few surviving copies in the world. I'm sure you could put it to good use. Okay. Take this. I'm sure. Now what? Shit. What the fuck? Ah, oh, damn, Kenwood! I have to open the here. seal? How do I open the seal? The seal back here? Oh. <laughs> okay, what? What did I do? Okay. Let's try this again. Is there like a lever or some something that I'm missing? Okay, well I know I can bypass this one. Oh my god, there is. It's a little... Oh, I have to like smash the... This one's over here. Okay, here's the seal. Ah, shit. There's gotta be something in the book to solve this. Let's see. 
Andrew. No! Oh, I'm matching. This one? That's two. Did I get it? Yeah. Oh my god, I got it just barely. What the hell? Yeah, jump in the fiery pit. That's what I'd do. <laughs> All right, now what's going on? <laughs> Very good. You've been able to return to the foreground of the dream. You're receiving a strong reading of a completely different energy. A positive one. This is a very good thing. Go and fight it. I like how it says a positive energy, and then I'm faced with this uh, skull light thing. <laughs> Is that a key in there? Looks like a key. Oh, can I pick that up? No. Here's a diary. The greatest of horrors. God, this is terrible. All those children. What have I done? The evil entity had, has me in its grip, and I can no longer trust myself. The nightmare was real. I found a room prepared for sacrifices. I was able to recognize certain details, the shape of the sacrifices, their amputated hands. Everything indicates that an ancient demon was summoned, but how? Time is running out, but I know where to look. Tonight, I will regain strength, and I will fix it. Follow me? Hmm? Those kids. Maybe it's them trying to tell me something. Strong ass bike. Search for the positive energy. Follow the tricycle. Find the lost golden gods. Three of them. Oh, I have to be so close. Okay, that was pretty creepy. Okay, but like... Why, why did you do that? And you didn't come kill me? I'm... I'm confused. Oh, did, was that a save icon? A little faster, bro. A little faster. Okay, I made it save again. There's no candles? I can't take out a candle and light it? Not here or s Yeah, suck it. Oh, she's like gone, gone. Okay. Are we just like zigzagging up in here? Oh shit, bitch. Ah. 
What did you throw at me? Yeah, come on, bicycle. We need to get the F out of here. Better be going through this. Oh. Okay, I think I get a save point in here too, because it's like that little save icon down there popped up. We really are just like circling this whole thing. I don't know why I'm looking around corners. It's not like you see shit anyway. What is this? Okay, go a little faster, go a little faster. Where the hell did you take me? Oh, here's another diary. Infestation and oppression. I find myself locked up and ready to figure this out. I can no longer walk around the house. A strange, dark, and fetid substance took over. It grows and expands slowly like the evil inside of me. Let's see what we got over here. Some kind of shrine full of blood. With a toy on it? There are three empty spaces. Damn, oh. This woman is the devil himself. Wow, okay, there goes any light that I had. What is that? It looks like one of the masks they use for the plague. Oh, it was... What is An that? An old flashlight. Oh! Sweet. Oh, shine it in her eyes? But what was the mask for? Am I wearing the mask so she can't throw stuff at my face anymore? And what am I looking for? Balls? Toys. Children's toys. So that little picture showing of shining the light in her face did not work. Just had to come in here and make sure there wasn't a toy or something in here. Look at the toys in. Oh shit. This is what the mask is for. What's going on? Whoa, you can't see anything. Not scared, just confused. Oh, this is the evil she was talking about. What is this? Oh, I saw that over here. Oh, cool. You can't run. I don't know. 
I mean, I can't even see you. Thank God. Got one. Why? Okay, so the thing is, I died and it reset my mask, but it did keep my one toy progress that I had, so that's something. These damn spiders? I mean, something tells me that there's one in each room. I guess I just didn't venture that far in that first, uh, wing of the house. <laughs> Don't be coming for me. Okay. I think this is where we were last time, so let's try this again. Okay, cool. Yay. That's it. Let's get out. <laughs> So not phased at all. Not even trying to brush it off. Well, thank you. Oh. Here we go. Here's the children's. Train. Car. And spinning top. I think that's all of them. Now what? Our scientists report that you can purify their souls and get rid of evil using salt. Find some and throw it on the altar that has toys on it. I have some. to the skeleton door. Seems to have left. Poor kids. Rest in peace. Dead Mariana. Very Not good work. It... Those poor souls are already in a better place. Everything indicates that someone has condemned Henrietta to the circle of salt. So it hasn't been possible to physically manifest in the real world. Her remains must be somewhere. Look out for them. In the skeleton room. I mean, it's technically not Henrietta that did that. What I mean? Is that a skull? Is that a skull? Yes. Put me in this damn room. Oh shit, we're outside. Yeah, take that off. We're done with that. It's a whole ass graveyard. Okay. Looks cool. Is there anything fishy going on around here? No? Ooh, puzzle time. Ooh, lots of puzzles. What's that? What's that? Just an urn, okay. Looked like it was standing out. What's that? Looks like an idol for an ancient god. Oh, is that one of the gods? Okay. Hmm. 
square, octagon, and triangle. And you've got your hand out. Let's see. Doesn't seem so complicated. Doesn't seem so complicated? Maybe it's talking about sides? Oh, it was. <laughs> that was not Maybe complicated. Those arms. But what? Solve the statue riddle. Okay. Oh, these little numbered urns. Number three. Number two. Number four. There's number one. Uh, the local police discovered something unusual at Kedward Manor today. People in town reported strange things or strange happenings occurring at the manor. These reports, coupled with the disappearance of children, prompted the police to act. What they found was indescribable. Kedward's decomposing body was found inside the manor, arranged in a very strange way. After investigating the house further, the, mission, the missing children were discovered. The police unfortunately reported that the children were found dead. The press had no access to the crime scene. Something terrible and dark has happened in that mansion. The families of the victims refused to comment about the case. Yeah, what do you say? She's dead, so... Now, where is this last urn? Okay. Okay. Oh, it was out here. Okay. Let's solve it. So, is it an order of... Um, what's the highest? Right? Oh, what the F? That was right. I guess it was just trying to balance them. Anna! What do you mean where you are? Okay, what? Not that one. Are you? Is that you? Anna, you better get up out of my face. Yeah, that's right. Oh, it was her. You did very well. Uh, damn, you we're just getting before. lucky tonight. To finish this. Our scientists informed me that you could do two things: destroy his remains or purify them and save his soul. It's up to you. Wait, his remains? Wait. His remains? Okay, if you would have asked me in the beginning, if I would rather kill or save her, like if I knew it came down to this, I had an idea. But like, if I knew for sure, like that's how the ending was, I would have originally said kill. But as the story's gone on, it sounds like, you know, she feels really bad and terrible for the stuff that she's done and kind of like she has no control over it. And we've seen that there's like demonic stuff going on. There's some 
otherworldly stuff at play here. I mean, I guess that's what you get for messing with a book. This is the Book of the Dead. So I think she is worth saving. I think. It wasn't Let's her see. intentions to come to this. It wasn't her fault. I gotta save her. Okay, to purify its evil, you'll need to perform a stronger spell than simple salt. Use the Book of the Dead. We received a strong energy signature from it. Okay. The aura marks this page. It's gotta be the spell. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna need a place and several things to prepare this. We're detecting a strong energy in the center of the salt circle. You should go and investigate what it is. Be careful. <laughs> right. Elaborate the spell. Find the place to repair the spell. Turning it up, Bailey. Okay. So, there was that other room. But then also, the, um, that, like, area with, like, the fire that's, like, inside that, like, skull, I don't know, burning thing? I don't know what you want to call it. <laughs> There's something with that. I know I saw a key in there, too. Oh, shit. Okay, so I guess the power they felt, or the energy, was just her on crack. Key with the shape of a cauldron. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. Is that what that room was that we saw in that one uh, wing? Is it this one? I don't know. I'm not going to pretend like I know where I'm going right now. <laughs> this house. I am so determined to finish this game today. F off. time for you. Just messing up my mask. Oh, maybe I do know where I'm going. This is a cauldron. Yeah, take that damn thing off. Where the F are we? I don't trust anything. It's too peaceful in here. Why? What? I swear I will fight somebody. Anna. Again, you make my life impossible. <laughs> she does, doesn't she? I've got to hide. Where? Oh, under the table. Oh my god, am I supposed to use the blood to see where she's going? How is she over there? I'm not understanding it.
Where is she? I don't know. Is that it? Can I turn my flashlight back on, please? Some more blood over here. Don't tell me I'm gonna have to do this again. What am I doing? What am I doing in here? Oh, hey. What is this? I think I've been in this world too long. I'm starting to turn, my nails are turning black. Oh. Okay. Oh, shit. And how did I know this was here? Mm -mm -mm. Maybe I'm getting possessed by the... Oh, it's another god statue. Maybe I'm getting possessed by the book. Like, how did I know that there was like a secret hidden uh, ritual room? You know what I'm saying? Is there anything else in here? No? I can prepare the spill here. All right, let's see what ingredients I need. Are you bringing me something? Girl, listen, I think I need that bottle. Any glowy bottles? Keep any of them? I sure did. Okay. Oh shit, is that it? Oh shit. Shit. I gotta get all the way back. Where are you? Okay. We are here. We've got all our freaking potions. All right, these are all the ingredients. Let's get to work. Oh, watch book. Look at me. Oh shit, so you can... Oh, I see. So in order to solve this, you have to fill up each one of these with the 
appropriate amounts and then release them all at the same time. I see, I see, I see. So let's do needle. And then four. Is the um, mushroom. And then nine is the little worm and five is the tooth. Oh, you know what? And then the other one is gonna be one and two, right? Beetle. to do it again. Five, six, three, and seven. Okay. All right. Three of the worm. That's six of the mushroom, five of the beetle. Plus two. How many more you got? Four, seven, eight, and two. So the two is definitely this one. The tooth. Tooth is two. I guess I can make three and Three and one, the beetle. No, four is gonna be the beetle. Right? Yeah. Because five and three will be the worm. I got the eight and two, so seven. So I got six and one. Six and one are blue. Is that the last one? Thank God. Glad that it made me start over. Potion to perform the spell. Very good work. Our scientists inform us that you must put the remains in a special place. You can use the altar. Once they're placed, use salt to purify and execute the spell. That would have to work. Would it have to work? <laughs> when I get out of here, I'm kicking your ass. Do the ritual and save Henrietta. Find salt to purify the altar. Um... Yeah, because I don't have any, right? Is she still out here roaming? Because...
Henrietta. I am doing you a favor, girl. I can't see anything. He's God. Where am I going? Did she stop chasing me? Well, I got a save point, so there's that. What a journey we've been on. What a journey. Oh, here's some salt. Let's go ahead and take that. Okay, so yeah, so we just need to go to the altar. Are they talking about the altar with the kids? I'm assuming, right? Here we go. Here's the altar. Mm -mm -mm. Here we go. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Watch us like actually res her or some shit. I was hitting D instead of the arrow key. Lord. Okay, at least we're here. Oh my Jesus, these are short. Please. F off. <laughs> okay. Oh. Rest in peace, Catherine. This was all one terrible mistake. Can you hear me? The yes. machine has gone crazy. It seems the curse is over. Good job. We'll I mean, yeah. Find the way and get out of the house. We will find a way to get you out? Like, you don't know how to get me out? Oh. But Anna's still in here, isn't she? Anna is still up in this house. Because I didn't save Anna. Salt is gone. The salt barriers. Oh, there's one salt barrier. What is this? We are born, we live, and we die. A perfect triquetra that adapts to everything, always present. Wait. Oh, I thought I was doing something. Am I her? I should never have trusted her. I knew of her greed and hatred for the world, but I yeah, never no. thought she would take it this far. Now, way to heaven. it all makes sense. Every occultist knows the ancient demons. Most of all, Barkham, for his false promises of riches and power. A suffering and needy soul is easy prey to be tempted and corrupted. When Anna prepared the ritual, she changed the symbols to opening the portal and invoked him. All this time, I thought the evil was only in me, but it was somewhere else. A simple object, but a significant one. A gift I gave her. 
the damn doll. Wasting no time, I headed towards the room in search of the doll. The evil in me is only a part of it. What a fool I was. I looked for a way to burn her, and finally end this evil. Can I pick you up? No. Am I gonna burn you with the lantern? In her face but I didn't succeed the evil came back to me and took control once again leaving me unconscious mm hmm some time later I was able to recover a huge pain Shit. ran through my scarred back punishment for trying to destroy the doll at that moment I understood that it was too late that I could never end the evil. All was lost. With my last strength, I will trace a circle of salt, enclosing my body so that when the time comes and I lose control, my evil part will be trapped and die. I am so sorry I cannot eradicate this evil. I never wanted this. I hope someday someone knowledgeable in sorcery can do something about it. Hmm. I'm knowledgeable in sorcery and I did something about it. Oh hell no. It was you. All this time. Supposed to run. No. so let's talk about that um basically this whole game was i mean besides the actual voice actors the game was actually developed and you know created by two people and honestly the quality of the game was was really nice really really nice um i do felt like feel like some areas were a little bit longer than they should have been um, but I know that was kind of due to me like exploring the house and just trying to figure out where stuff was um, and maybe make like the three wings of the house differentiate a little bit more um, so that way it's like a little bit clear as to like which one's which because they were very similar uh, like both I think two of them had like greenish colored walls um, but it was it started looking the same and I felt like I was like in a maze pretty much the entire time I was playing this game and the controls were a little bit wonky I I had trouble using my salt quite a bit but I appreciated the auto saves throughout the game that was very helpful and maybe like it should say somewhere that like finding like the little god statues and the shul cards and stuff like that. Uh, I don't think it said it, but I think it should have been like mentioned that like, oh, it's a bonus thing. Like you don't need them. Cause there was quite a bit that I've trimmed out of 
parts where I was looking for those things. And I think it would be really cool if they added a way for you to go back and without obviously replaying the whole game, um, so you could see like if I decided to have done the death option, you know, to kill her, like what would have happened? Um, I don't know. That's just that's just me wondering what if. I guess I'll just YouTube a video of it and see if somebody chose the death option. But I don't know. I think it would be cool to like just easily go back and see that ending. One thing that really, really, really irritated me was the um, the parts when you were going through the house uh, for the plague and you had to put that mask on. So you've got lots of things affecting your vision. You've got obviously like the glass kind of filter, which is kind of like a kind of like a hazy um, look on it. Then you've got like your breathing and so it fogs up every so often. And then you've got like a moisture, like bead looking thing, I guess from like, I don't know, humidity or something in the mask. Um, and then you've got like, of course, when you get attacked, like it's also cracking and stuff and it's dark. You have no source of light and everything around you is covered in black. So it's like super hard to see. Um, I felt like that part was really tricky. Um, obviously it was still doable, but I don't know, maybe like adding a brightness option or taking off one or two of those like layers that you wear for that mask. If these two guys were to create like, like let's say this is case 36. So if they were to create another one, like case five or case 42 or whatever, I would totally play this again. Um, Cause the fact that they were just two people that worked on this, it was so good. And I think this was kind of like a, a test drive for them. So you know, obviously doing so well for this game, I feel like it was so well. Like, you know, there was areas like, I felt like you could have shaved off a lot of like, just wandering and stuff. But I mean, they did so well that I know that the next one would be even better. So yeah, I would totally play if they had another game come out that they did. Um, I thought it was so well done and the monsters looked really cool. But yeah, overall, I. I was pretty impressed by it. I know there was like, I kind of wish there was a little bit more symbolism to those rooms. Like I know that one of them was supposed to be like, you know, the dark part of her, like that did all this stuff. But like, what was the symbolism for the, the room with like the wandering ghost where she's like, we're in a library or something. Like what, what was that supposed to be? It just wasn't as clear to me um, what it was supposed to stand for anyway. But yeah, overall, I, I really enjoyed that game. Um, there were parts in it. I think it was like my second video that I just felt like it just was going on and on and on and on. But this last playthrough of it, I felt like the story was really going somewhere. So that felt better to actually feel like I was making progress. The other ones, I felt like I was just kind of wandering and I wasn't really, you know, getting anywhere. I'm hoping that I'm mentioning everything in my head that I've thought throughout the game. Um, but I'm curious to see what you guys thought about it. Um, of course, you didn't have to, you know, play it as long as I did because I did cut a lot of stuff out uh, for the videos so that way you know it wouldn't be too boring for you to see but yeah I'm curious to see what you guys think so let me know down below but yeah if you like the video like the video um, I appreciate everything uh, from likes to comments um, all of it all of it but yeah let me know what you thought down below and we'll see you guys in the next one bye